welcome to this video. Now today I'm going to be looking at this album. It is David Bowie's um, Aladdin Sane. So this album review was requested by a user called VarsityFan2000, like a very like regular commenter like on my channel. So yeah, thank you for like requesting this. Like you requested this about, um, must be like a good like couple of like months ago now. Like it was certainly like before like I picked up um, like this copy like of the album. But yeah, now finally like since I have like now got the vinyl, I will be reviewing the album and um, going over each of the album songs in detail, showing you the vinyl and like also like scoring like the album, like a percentage score like out of 100. Okay, so this was Bowie's um, sixth studio album, released on the 13th of April in 1973. It followed the huge success of the album before this, which was Ziggy Stardust, um, like, and like, by this point in time now, like, Bowie, like, was one of the biggest pop stars, like, in the world. So, consequently, like, this album, um, like, was his first to be written, like, from, like, a position, like, of fame. Like, he was touring, like, America like, while writing this album, like, each of, like, the songs like in brackets, like has like what city like it was like written in, like it's also like a lot more like American sounding like than like his previous albums. The title um, like reflects like Bowie's state of mind like at like, the time, like literally a lad insane. Um, like he wanted like to be like on stage like performing. That's what he like enjoyed doing like whether like he was worn down like by like the touring and like the travelling. The album was a success when it was released. It topped the UK charts and reached number 17 over like in like America. Today it sold 4.6 million copies worldwide. Generally the album was well received like at like, the time, like whether like some felt that it was a step down like in quality like from like the Ziggy Stardust album. Generally the album was well received like at like the time, like whether like some felt that it was a step down like in quality like from like the Ziggy Stardust album. So I'm now going to show you my vinyl copy of it here, and um, I bought this one. Like, must have got this like at like a like record fair. Like, I think about um, in like February. Like, I think like, I could bought this one here for only I think three pounds. Like, I paid for this. It was dirt cheap. Like, and, like as far as I can tell, like it is a original UK pressing. We've got the very striking um, gatefold like image there. Like the actual cover, like itself, like one of like, the most like iconic album covers like of all time comes with a um, lyric inner sleeve here and um, which is a very nice design and then the actual vinyl itself just in like a genetic sleeve or the orange um, RCA Victor label so yeah very very nice vinyl packaging all round okay so and I'm going to go over each of the album songs like as I said like I will score each track out of 10 and then those scores will be used to give us a overall percentage marking for the album So yes, it opens up strongly with the song Watch That Man, which I'm giving a 9 out of 10 to. This is like a strong like rocking opening um, to the album, very sort of Rolling Stone style. A big riff like on it provided by Mick Ronson. The only sort of criticism with this track, like is that like, the vocals, they are very buried again, like the mix. Like it is like quite hard like to understand like what he's singing. Like this was like because like apparently like the engineer um, Ken Scott like didn't have like enough time to properly mix this track. Aside from that though, I think it is a brilliant song, great way to kick off the album. However, for me personally, the next song doesn't do much and um, like to follow it. Like it is a title track, Aladdin Sane. This is a much sort of slower, downbeat, like almost sort of jazzier number. Like the main like bulk like of like the song I think like is quite good. Like the chorus line, which has like the line like to love Aladdin Sane, um I like that bit like off like the track. However, for me, there's a middle section where it goes into this very sort of pretentious like avant-garde piano piece, which I think um I which I think kind of like ruins the song like a little bit. Like it's quite difficult to listen to, like personally. Like I get like what like he was trying to do, like he's sort of like he's broadening like his musical and um, like outlook like with this song. But for me, like it's done like in like a style what I don't much like appreciate, like about five minutes fifty, like, a little bit too long personally. The next track that I really, really like is um, Drive-In Saturday, which is a kind of like a more sort of 1950s like, do-wop like style song. Bowie sings this real, real great, like with a lot of passion, like in like his vocals. 
lyrically, like, it's a very interesting song. Like, it's about, like, a future time, like, where people, like, have, like, forgotten, like, how to make love. So, like, they have to watch, like, these sort of, like, old, like, films, like, to sort of, like, relearn, like, how to do it. Like, it is, like, a great song, like, really, like, interesting, like, lyrically, like, like, lyrically, like, as well, like, as I said. Originally, this song was given to the band Mott the Hoople, and, um, like, however, like, they rejected the song, like, um, like, Bowie, like, would later give, like, them, like, another song off his All The Young Dudes. However, for Bowie, this was a top three UK hit, so, yeah, a great, great track there, Driving Saturday. <laughs> Next up is called Panic in Detroit, which I do also really enjoy. It's got these kind of um, sort of Congo drums on it, and interesting, like instrumentally, like as well. Lyrically, it's about the Detroit riots of 1967. Mick Robson plays some real, real great like guitar on it. Like, whoever, like as like an actual song, like I don't um, think it is one of Bowie's like masterpieces. Like I dig out at the end as well as well like it becomes like a little bit messy like production wise like again like it's supposed to sort of like represent like mayhem and that like whoever for me and um, a part of it like doesn't really work but i do enjoy the track though like for the most part like it isn't one where i would ever like skip over And now closing in the first side, we get the track and um, Cracked Actor, which is one of my favourites like on the album. Bowie puts us all like into this. He just sounds like the boss like singing this song, like a lot of like mojo to it. Lyrically, it concerns a Hollywood film star's um, encounter like with a prostitute. Like it's very sort of fun like musically, like lyrically, like it's like great as well. Yeah, just a great sort of like classic like rock and roll like style song here. Time. Side 2 opens up really interestingly as well with the track Time, which has this kind of sort of cabaret style like piano on it, like out at the start. But what I do re really like about this song, like, is it develops, like, it changes, like, throughout the track. It's, like, very theatrical sort of style song, maybe, like, a little bit pompous, like, in places, like, however, like, it is an interesting song. Like, I'm, like, very, I'm, like, very, like, nice to listen to, like, especially, like, Mick Ronson's guitar, like, towards the end. Like, despite it being, like, about 5 minutes, 10 seconds long, like, his guitar just keeps you hooked, like, with this song. Yeah, great, great track there. Time. And then this might come as a bit of a surprise, but I'm giving The Prettiest Star a 10 out of 10. I just really love this song, like, actually. Like, interesting, like, backstory, like, about this song. Like, this was originally released, like, as a single in 1970, like, as a space up, like, to his hit Space Oddity, like, whoever, like, it flopped. So maybe, like, the reason why I, like, like this song, like, is because it does have this kind of 60s, like, pop feel to it. Like, it has been sort of, like, reworked here, like, as, like, a more sort of, like, glam, like, rock version. Like, I think, like, it is just a great track though like a memorable like guitar riff to it good lyrics like as well like a lot of people say that like, this is like the worst track like on the album for me it is one of the standouts the next one in is Bowie's cover of the Stones and um, classic and um, let's spend the night together which I'm only giving a 6 out of 10 to for me personally and um, like, it isn't, like, as good, like, as, like, the Rolling Stones, like, original. Like, it's kind of, like, supercharged, charged this one. Made it, like, a lot more fast-paced, like, a lot more, like, rockier version. Like, I personally don't like, like, how, like, he's reworked out the chorus. Like, he sings it, like, kind of, like, um, kind of, like, different, like, to, like, the Stones version. Like, I like how he hasn't just done, like, a carbon copy. Like, but for me, it doesn't quite work. Also, like, it's a bit, like, out of place, like, on this album. Like, among, like, a lot of, like, great, like, original compositions. Like, this one, like, it just, like, sticks out, like, out of place because it is, like, such, like, a popular, like, song, like, to cover. For me, like, this track, like, would have fitted, like, a lot more, um, like, a lot better, like, on, like, the Pinups album, like, the next one, what came out later in 1973. Gene, Gene, However, the album, though, is redeemed by the classic The Gene Genie, which I am, of course, giving it a 10 out of 10 to. This is, yeah, one of his classics. 
lyrically it is like a bit of like a mishmash like of like American like style like, style like images like I love the way he sings this one like as well slightly sort of like slightly sort of flat vocals and um, like Iggy Pop like influence like vocals to this like I love the music like as well like the strong sort of like shocking like rhythm like provided by like Mick Bronson's guitar like Bowie's harmonica and like also like Woody Woodman sees like drumming on it yeah just a great great track like one of Bowie's like most beloved songs reached number two like as a single like, I think like in November 1972 so yeah great track there Jean Genie and then um to close the album we get the track Lady Grinning Soul which I'm giving a 8 out of 10 this is a lot more sort of softer like more like reflective track to end on Reminds me of like the song um, Wild Is The Wind for like Station The Station. Like, they both do the same kind of thing, like just like end the album, like um, light with a nice sort of calming, relaxing song. Like yeah, like a lovely closing song, like nice like romantic lyrics. Like again, like a little bit more sort of jazzier like vibes to this one. However, like, I think it works well, especially like the piano playing, like is a lot more tasteful like on this track like that it was on Aladdin Sane. Okay, so overall, I would give this album a score of 82%. So yeah, I think this is a very, very good album. Like, for like a lot of people, this would be like a career like highlight. However, for me, it is a little bit like inferior to most like off like his other 70s albums. A lot of like the album like has like a kind of sort of similar sound like in some ways. Like it's all sort of got similar like hard rocking like arrangements, like all dabblings in like avant-garde like jazz, which is a style that just doesn't work for me. However, like among like the slightly fillery songs that shall I say, there are some um, Stone Cold classics like the Gene Genie and um, Driving Saturday Cracked Act Up, like and the prettiest star like I would pick out like as my personal favourites. In terms like of like his like career progression, um like shortly after like this album came out, I think like in August 73, like he would kill off like his Ziggy Stardust character. And like started to move his music like in like a more sort of soulful direction, like the Diamond Dogs album followed, which I um, really love. Like also like Young Americans, like it's okay. Like I probably like, prefer this like to Young Americans personally. Um, but then also like Station of the Station is just fantastic. Pro probably my favorite Bowie album. Um, so yeah, like this is like certainly, certainly like significant. Um, like coming after like the huge success like, of Ziggy, like this was his like first album, like what he wrote, like as like a famous like worldwide star. Like and like um like and like you can tell like with like some of like the lyrics, like such as like to cracked actor and like watch that man and G Genie and like whatnot. But yeah, a brilliant album though, nonetheless, um David Bowie's Aladdin Sane. So yes, I would like to know what you think like of this album down below in the comment section. And I will see you all next time for the next video. Goodbye.